Welcome back. And new at six, you see it almost everywhere you look. Wildfire raging across the west, smoky skies, extra brown dry grass where green plots used to be. Outside of homes, next to sidewalks, Portland is parched. This summer, the city went through 46 days without measurable rain. The fire risk is so bad in some areas like Forest Park. City officials are keeping some people out, worried they'll accidentally start a fire and burn it down. 19 counties in Oregon are officially in a drought emergency, but that isn't stopping some people from making it rain. That's the topic of this week's Willamette Week cover story called Hydro Hogs. And here to talk about it is reporter Sophie Peel. And Sophie, you compiled the list of people with the highest water usage in the Portland Water Bureau and the Palatine Water District, which serves the Dunthorpe neighborhood. So why, why compile this list? Tell us that. I mean, I, like you mentioned, you know, Portland itself is not in a drought. We have a pretty supple water source um, with the Bull Run watershed. Uh, but I do think it's largely symbolic of sort of the haves and the have-nots in Portland. Um, you know, much of our state is under a drought warning um, or is currently or was recently on fire. Um, and it just seems it seems a little brazen that there's sort of this upper echelon of Portland's wealthy, uh, you know, in the West Hills and Dunthorpe that are just using kind of water, water at leisure, sometimes over a million gallons. The top of the list includes people who used more than a million gallons of water, in fact, from June of 2020 to May of 21. Why is this significant? I mean, I think just the number one million is staggering in of itself. I mean, a million of anything sort of, uh, you know, makes heads turn. Um, but I think if you look at the at the landscape of, you know, West Hills and Dunthorpe, like those people just live in a very different environment than the rest of Portland. I mean, most of us have, you know, 10 by 10 lawns that are pretty much brown patches of grass. Um, and then, you know, there's again, this sort of this, this group of wealthy Portlanders who have, you know, one to three acres of just perfectly pristine lawns and hedges and trees and usually pools and a tennis court as well. A lot of these people have been on the list before, Sophie, but you found in general individual water usage in Portland is actually decreasing? Yeah, so uh, average water use per person per day has almost halved since um, 2000. Um, that being said, you know, when I spoke with the Water Bureau for this story, they noted that most of these outliers, you know, these really top, top users, um, their, their water consumption really hasn't changed all that much. The needle hasn't really moved. Um, you know, and, and I think what's notable about that is like, essentially it's gotten harder to use as much water as you did in 2000. And that's because of more efficient plumbing and toilets and showers, and then also urban density. Um, then again, those people, you know, who are living in the West Hills and Dunthorpe who own property out there, they're not really pretty to that urban density. Density. Um, but you know they're may, you know they're continuing to uh, use as much water as they did, even though that's harder these days. Sophie Peel, always great to talk to you. Thank you very much. And you can read the entire article in the latest edition of Willamette Week on newsstands now or online at wweek.com.